Right, welcome ladies and gents. So we've got, we've got a new spin-off for The Witcher announced. Of course, more spin-offs, 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 spin-offs. Uh, why not? You know, why not? Well, I mean, we know why not. Because currently, the, uh, the petition to fire the writers of The Witcher, and obviously, subsequently, this new show as well, uh, and bring back Henry Cavill, because... That's the reason why he's left, the writers. Uh, crosses 260,000. Now that doesn't sound like a huge number. But it's big for the fan base of The Witcher. In terms of the amount of people that are even interested in watching this. Or were interested in watching it and are interested in Henry Cavill, etc. So we'll dive into this in a moment. Uh, just before we do, ladies and gents, please do hit that thumbs up button. And please do share the video. Uh, and if you're new here, do hit subscribe. The reason why I'm asking this, and I don't normally do this, uh, but YouTube's changed something on the algorithm. We are getting, and no word of a lie, we're getting like 25% less impressions, which means YouTube is not putting the video in front of people. And that, that's including you, the subscribers. It, you will have not seen my videos for days. I can almost guarantee it. Not everyone, of course, but the vast majority of you. So it would mean a lot to me. I rarely ask this. But please do, please do share it, please do hit thumbs up uh, and comment. Just all the stuff that generally can help a video out, please do try. But anyway, let's, I'll quit my bitching. Let's, let's move on. Uh, let's take a look at this new thing which is announced, right? Because this is important, you know, they're, they're announcing new stuff. We've got Blood Origin, etc. Um, but there's another live action spin-off. And, uh, you know, is, is this going to be good? Is this bad? Do they sound good? Well, you tell me, right? You tell me. Because this is all, I mean, it just all sounds like trash to me. But make no mistake, the ne you know Netflix will be mining this property for all it's worth. Milking that cash cow. So The Witcher's first live-action spin-off called Blood Origin, starring Michelle Yeoh, arrives in just a month. Which is apparently entirely fan fiction, so what are they doing? While the Henry Cavill, Freya Allen and Anya Cholotra led The Witcher will be on our screens in summer 2023. Uh, and it would seem that there could be a slight drought of news between Blood Origin and The Witcher, but that is no longer, uh, as we now know, a new live-action prequel is currently being developed. Another prequel? For goodness sake. So the new spin-off will explore the rats. So we've learned that the next live-action spin-off of The Witcher will explore the infamous group of young Nilf Guardian misfits called the Rats. Now this is from the book. So in the books, the Rats are featured in series storyline as she joins them for a period of time. Uh, and in The Witcher Season 3, the Rats will be featured in Episode 7 and 8, when Ciri will first meet them. They are meant to be featured even more in Season 4 of The Witcher, but between Season 3 and 4, we'll have the spin-off. This sounds like trash. So it isn't clear uh, whether the spin-off will be their origin story set before meeting Siri, or whether it will be during their time with Siri and before the events of Season 4. So at the moment, we're reluctant to call it a prequel. But, I mean, whatever. It's still a prequel to Season 4, I guess. So the intention of the production team to explore the Rats' characters before Season 4 uh, arrives is rather understandable, as Siri will be spending quite a bit of time with them. Uh, nevertheless, the rats as characters are not very well loved in the Witcher fandom. Dedicate an entire spin-off to them. God. So they're not liked, and that will require effort to make them interesting and appealing. Because apparently they're so unlikable. So who's the cast? So the rats uh, will first be introduced in The Witcher Season 3. And there are no issues with the production casting, so we expect all of the Rats cast members from Season 3 to reprise their roles in the new spin-off. Of course, it will. It's payday. So, we've got Fabian McCallum, Christelle Elwin. Sure, fine. Don't know anything about these individuals. Don't really care, but they're Netflix lovies, basically. They work for Netflix. Uh, Juliet Alexandra uh, and Aggie K. Adams. Uh, don't know anything about these individuals. have absolutely no... Um, li literally no no idea who they are or what they've been in. Fine, whatever. But again, remember, ladies and gents, this this is another thing that comes hot on the heels 
of the riders shitting all over the, sh the, the law, people not being happy with it all. I mean, just pe generally people being pretty pissed. Uh, the Witcher Blood Origin trailer is an absolute shit show. Like, it just constantly had All of the comments are negative. You are, you're looking at like a tiny, tiny, tiny percentage of positive comments. And you know what? It's not, you know, it's not Michelle Yeoh's fault. Um, but yeah, it is funny. It is very, very, very funny. And I can't believe that this, uh, you know, this um, change.org petition has been signed by 266,000 people. Which, again, is a lot for a small fan base, which is even smaller because we're at the end of Season 2, we're looking at Season 3, and people have checked out who, you know, did like Henry Cavill and did like The Witcher, and so you're left with an even smaller fan base. And it, even this, you know, even this article notes, you know, the news comes at a time when goodwill for The Witcher franchise is at an all-time low. That's due to Cavill's departure, of course, and a change to old petition asking for his return and for the show's writers to be fired because that, they're the that they are the reason behind this. Um, and again, two hundred sixty-six thousand. Cavill is said to have left the show due to its many deviations from the source material, and with a Superman return now on the horizon, we'd say he's done with Geralt, no matter how many signatures. I mean, he's not going to come back, obviously. You know, we know he's not going to come back, and and that. Netflix are renowned for not giving a shit. They will run a franchise into the ground because they don't care. They're not interested. They've got your money. They're not interested. They're going to just keep spending it. Uh, so they don't care. The Witcher writers don't care. But it's still funny to talk about this stuff and air most people's grievances on just how ludicrous this is. So we're going to get a show... Uh, some young adult trash, basically. Because these are all kids. You know? It's going to be some young adult trash. I'm not interested in watching young adult trash. There's not many people that are. I know there's a big market for it. But I do think that that market is subsiding. Uh, has been for some time. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Take care.